All right, YouTube, how's it going? Um, if you see my channel, see my videos, you've seen all the setups and the lights that I have. What I'm gonna show you today is how I have all the switches and how I mounted everything um, to my vehicle. It's a nice little Chevrolet Malibu SS. Um, we will start in the front here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, the sound off signal speaker right there. Um, great speaker, love it. Um, really moves people, which is really surprising. Um, because anybody who does this job knows that nobody ever wants to move when everything's activated. So, uh, great speaker, hardwired in, drilled into the frame right there, and just uh, right behind the speaker really gets out there, or right behind the screen right there really gets out there and does its job. Um, let's move up, move up here. As you can see, let's see if I can get it, a little dash light right there. Um, that's on the inside under the dash, just double sided taped to it. Um, nothing too uh, exciting for the mounting. Um, it did come with a window suction cup mount, uh, but it kept fell falling off. So, um, downside, so it's I stuck it to there, but the, uh, the uh, downside to it is there's a lot of flashback from the windshield, but you know, you got to do what you can to make things work. Um, up top here we have a overhead uh, mount right here. It's just magnet mounted. Um, really simple. Not permanently mounted. Um, I don't plan on keeping this car for um, the rest of my life or until it dies out and probably sell it later in life. That's a whole other story. So I don't really want to drill any holes into the top of the roof there. Um, if you come back to the back window it's hard to see but uh sorry about the glare um we got a rear deck light right here um four modules uh works really well really bright waterproof uh, so it's meant to go on the inside or outside um i chose to put it on the inside just because it's simpler simpler to mount and that way i'm not drilling holes in the car um I try to stay away from them as much as possible so um let's go to the inside and show you the switches that i've mounted um for the overheads and the dash light, it's all cigarette plugs right here. Um, as you can see, there's your dash light. And then obviously over top, you already saw, that was the overhead. Um, this is a uh, plug adapter from Myers. It only cost six bucks. Actually works pretty well. And uh, the nice thing about it is I can leave the power to the plugs here on but it won't activate until I hit the power to the box. Um, and that simply is just mounted or plugged in right to the cigarette plug right there in my center console. So as you can see, we'll go ahead and turn those on. As you can see, they're still on. Box lights up. And on come your overheads and your dash light, obviously. I um, don't know if you can see that the dash light's on or not, but it's going. Um, and then right there, you turn it off, nothing's on. Um, here's your PA uh, mic to the siren. Um, like I said, that speaker out there works really well and the siren box really moves people. Um, here's the siren box, it's a Wellen product. Um, again, Wellen works really good on their stuff. Very good products, uh, very good product, I should say, from Wellen, uh, really trustworthy. Um, you got your power switch here to the uh, siren box so uh, if you really wanted to uh, you could switch it all the way to what tone you want to start with when you start rolling and uh, all you gotta do is hit that power button and it'll turn on and off you go um, it's a three tone siren box uh, whale yelp in a phaser type tone um, your HF up here is uh, hands free type of thing so if you go down to the manual switch down here you keep hitting that switch it'll cycle through your whale yelp and phaser um, then you got manual one manual two that's just a uh, whale and yelp and then it only activates when you hit the manual button there that's the right here's the switch for the rear deck and uh, you have your power switch and your pattern obviously as labeled on top and uh, it's hardwired in 
Um, everything else, uh, the dash and the overhead light isn't hardwired in. Um, I tried to stay away from that as much as I could, but with the rear deck light that I wanted to get, um, I couldn't ignore the price that uh, this company was selling, selling it for, and I'll let you know what the company is in just a second. So, you know, I decided to take that deal and run with it and just deal with hardwiring that in. Um, so obviously you got your wires down there. It's connected to a fuse down there in case it blows. Um, here is just a general fuse. Um, that is, this fuse controls and is connected to the hardwire to the battery. Um, and all the hard wires that you gotta run through to uh, get power to that rear deck. Um, the nice thing is that if uh, something goes wrong, obviously just like a breaker in your house, it pops and therefore it won't short out anything. It'll protect your car from you know any other damages that may come with it if that ever hap decides to happen. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, managed to get that switch and the siren in my center console there so it stays hidden. Um, I did have that set up with those cigarette plugs right there. Um, with that rear deck switch on top, it just got hard for me to switch on these lights. So I decided to move it out and just cut a few holes and zip tie it in. Again, not the prettiest, not the most professional, but you gotta work with what you got and that's what I had and you know it seems to work out pretty nice. So um soon to come when I can. I'm trying to get some uh uh, I don't know if you can see there's too much reflection there. Let's go to the other side. Um, what I do want to try to get is get some side lights to put here in the window um, to get that, you know, get more of a side um, warning system out there. All I have right now is just the side lights from the light bar, um, but it'll work. So, uh, that company I was talking to you about, uh, it's a company called Strobes and More. The website is called strobesandmore.com and it's right on here right there i'll let you i'll stay there for a little bit and let you be able to write that down uh, if you haven't heard of strobes and more or you haven't shopped there yet i suggest you do so uh, their products are amazing um, the products that they make my rear deck light is from the company strobes and more and so is my um, light bar um, there's nothing but good things to say about them nothing but good things um, they're very, very timely on getting their product to your house. Um, most of the time, all my products that I've ordered have been shipped. It says 7 to 10 days. I normally get them in 5 on average. Um, so very good company. I suggest you check them out. Um, you know, great customer service. And like I said, they get you your product to you on time. Um, so they sell all sorts of different products. They sell well in right here. Um, they sell Able. Uh, was it sound off um, kind of all the major big ones I also saw Phoenix uh, companies and uh, you know, kind of the major players out there they sell and I tell you what they sell it at a great price um, this little guy right here other websites was uh, close to a hundred dollars this guy I got from with shipping from strobes and more for about I want to say 65 um, again it's a ballpark and don't re I don't have to receipt anymore but um, it's a general general uh, ballpark there um my light bar up top here with shipping was 215 dollars um the rear deck guy back there um i believe was close to 100 with shipping um so uh but if you go to other places and find these you know their prices are almost doubled where strobes and more is fantastic they uh you know, great pricing, like I said, great customer service, and they get you your product just in time. Um, so what we're gonna do is we'll finish off the video here, kind of give you a nice little light show display. Um, and uh, so there you go, there's from the front, uh, pretty close. And uh, I'll show you the back here in just a second. And there's your back. Um, so like I said, that kind of, ex you know, there you go. Kind of turns everything on, turns everything off again. Um, but, yeah. Uh, you know, if anybody has any suggestions on uh, 
mounting or anything like that, you know, leave comments below. Um, any suggestions on any extra lighting that I, you think I should put in there? Um, like I said, I'm trying to get some side lighting here for the mirrors. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, or not the mirrors, the windows, sorry. And that's where, that's where it's at right now. Um, you know, if you, if you got videos yourself about your setup, you know, uh, put in a comment below. I'll take a look at it. And I'm always looking for new ideas for my car and, you know, we'll go from there. So, thanks for watching. Um, make sure you like and subscribe below. And, uh, like I said, this little dash right there, that's my favorite light right there. I don't know why, but it is. Um, like I said before, like and subscribe below, and uh, for those of you who are in the same volunteer service as I am, you know, stay safe. See you guys.